Hey everyone, this is Some Nerdy Guy back again with another uh, limited run video, but it's not quite a regular limited run video. It is uh, not video games, but game related, and I've been waiting for them for a long time, and it's something else that I really enjoy. Uh, here is the box. It's big, but it's sort of flat. So... Um, I don't want to give away what it is, but I ordered these a long time ago, and they never came, and I didn't know why, because to my understanding, when I ordered them, they were already in hand, ready to ship, and for whatever reason, it just did not happen. That did not happen at all. So, but I'm happy to have them now, and uh, some of these, a couple of these are pretty sought after, I think now, because they had just had like a bunch randomly available at the time that these went up for sale i'm trying not to give it away but once i show it you'll know what i mean if you were if you're there if you were there you were there and you knew and you know what i'll be what i'm talking about once i show it um it's gonna be kind of a shorter video because there's not really a whole lot in here there's just a couple things but ooh. Okay, so right on top, we've got one of the newsletter things with Cosmic Star Heroin on the front. That's cool stuff. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. Well, ooh, that's not the cover I was expecting. Okay, so first thing I am super excited about, it is the CD soundtrack for Mother or Earthbound Beginnings, or whatever you want to call it. I am a huge, 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 huge Mother fan, specifically Earthbound or Mother 2, which, I mean, that's the one that everybody likes. I love Mother 3. I've actually only ever really played a little bit of the first game, but I know a lot of the music from the first game. But I'm just, I, I have to do some day, do a video on just that whole series in general and my collection for the Mother series because I have a bunch of like the figurines from Mother 2. I went a little crazy about those for a while. It's uh, it's one of my favorite games ever. But, um, okay. And we got three. Oh, these look so nice. Okay. So first one, I'm going to get this. Well, I just showed it. So this <laughs> Uh, this is the first one. It's uh, Yokai, or not Yokai, Konami YY World 1 and 2. Um, this is a Japanese exclusive game. It's like a it's like a platforming game, and there's like a bunch of different different characters. Like there's Simon Belmont right there, and there's uh, Mystic Ninja. I can't remember what the Japanese name for him is, but the Mystical Ninja right there. Um, is that Athena? Is that who that's supposed to be? That's an SNK character, though. So I highly doubt that's Athena. Um, yeah, just tons of different cool characters from Konami. And uh, the music is super quirky and neat. And I just like it. And I like the art design with the little characters on there. It looks all cutesy and stuff. So I'm happy with that. Uh, second one, this is amazing i'm trying really hard not to show it right away oh my god that's so cool i really wish that the color was different but i mean that's whatever it is the soundtrack for resident evil 3 on vinyl look how amazing that cover is with nemesis on there and like the lighting is all dark and they use purple to kind of like highlight all the details. It's The camera really doesn't do it justice, especially with the film on, like the shrink wrap. It kind of reflects. So it's really hard to see all of the detail in there. But it is insane. That is so cool. And then on the back here, it's just so cool. I, I really wish I didn't have that light right now. So, I, I mean, just crazy detail. But... The reason I say that it's kind of disappointing is just on black vinyl. It would have been cool if it was on like red and white or something like that for the Resident Evil, like the Umbrella Corporation logo or whatever. That would have been kind of neat, but I don't, I'm still super happy with this. This is so cool. 
Um, I kind of wish I would have got the other ones too. I think they had the soundtracks for Zero and Two. I don't think they did a soundtrack for the first one. At least not for this week. These were for Record Store Day, which was back in the summertime. And like I said, they on the thing, to my knowledge, it said that they were ready to ship in hand, like didn't have to wait very long. And here I am in November and I just now got these. So that was kind of irksome, but maybe I just misread something and maybe not all the items were in hand right away. I don't know, but um, I have them now, so that's fine. So that's all that matters as long as I got them. <laughs> and then this is last but not least, and this is the coolest of all of them. Okay, okay. So when I opened it, the cover didn't look the same as what was in the picture. I'm like, did they change it last minute? But no, it was just the back. Um, this is the front. Oh man, this looks so great. This looks so amazing. Oh man, this is such a short video. <laughs> this is only six minutes long, but I just kind of blew through these, but um let's set the box over there this is the vinyl soundtrack for snatcher look how fucking awesome i don't even care that i'm swearing right now <laughs> to get demonetized from youtube look how great that artwork is oh my god that is so cool and it's got a limited run sticker on the seal there. And then here's some of the characters on the back. Oh, man. Snatcher is something that you don't really see a whole lot of merch or just anything for. I don't have the game because it's stupid expensive and I'm never going to buy a copy of it probably. Um, I've played some of it uh, through emulation, which is, I'm not the huge, the biggest fan of. I'd rather still have just a reproduction copy so I can play it on the hard the hardware that's meant to be played on. Um, but just the the aesthetic of like the cyberpunk theme of this game is so cool. This is uh, um, made by uh, Kojima. This is like one of his first games that he ever did. It was like this and Police Knots. I just I I adore it. This this is such such amazing it's just an amazing piece to have it's almost just as cool as having that um the i have the cassette soundtrack that comes in a sega cd case like the original game did and it has the same cover but it's on a sega cd uh casing and it's really cool but i really wanted the vinyl because i think vinyls are really cool to have the vinyl soundtracks for things um i have a bunch of different video game soundtracks on vinyl Maybe I'll do a video about that sometime, but I keep accumulating more and more, so it's kind of hard to, I would have to like keep constantly doing updates on these, because there's uh, two other ones that I have ordered from Limited Run that haven't come yet, and I don't know when they're coming, um, but I'll definitely do that as part of an unboxing whenever I do get it. But yeah, Konami YY World, uh, Resident Evil 3 and snatcher so cool i wish i would have got more but I, I i got a decent amount of stuff and the mother soundtrack which i already have the mother 2 soundtrack on vinyl and on cd and uh i should have got the mother vinyl because they had a vinyl version for this but this was only 10 bucks i mean I was like, I already got three vinyls. I probably should slow it down a little bit. And then I got, just got the CD. Um, the only other thing I really have to show uh, that I've got recently is I picked, or I didn't pick up, but I finally got uh, from Strictly Limited. Strictly Limited stuff takes forever, forever to get. Um, but this finally came and uh, this game looks so much fun. Um, every person that's ever reviewed it, uh, compares it to Smash TV on Genesis. And this is Xenocrisis. This is the collector's edition of Xenocrisis. But it looks super cool. And I'm excited. And it comes with a little postcard for it. So, I am extremely excited for this. And I hope to play it soon. I still have a huge backlog of games I haven't played yet, and I'm still really wanting to get down to that. Um, 
I'm kind of just rambling at the end of this uh, just to kind of make it a little bit longer. But, I mean, 10 minutes is good. So, uh, that's like the big mark to hit is the 10 minute mark. But I also want to show, because I didn't get to show this really in the last video, um, the Final Fantasy Wonderswan. I just kind of like shoehorned it in because I was running out of time on my video. But this thing is so amazing. I am so happy that I got a box, not only a box Wonderswan, but the Final Fantasy Wonderswan color system. It's, I, I love it. Just, I always awe and awe over the artwork. It's just, it's so cool. And there's all the stuff on the back there. Um, comes with a copy of the first Final Fantasy game. And then with it, I also got a copy of Final Fantasy IV on Wonder Swan. I, Wonder Swan's one of those things, like, you never come by it, ever. And um, they're always really expensive because collectors really want them, but they're not easy to find, obviously. So um, just having one in the box, and it's from a franchise that I really like, and it's themed after it, it's, ah, it's just so cool to have. So uh, I'm very, very excited to have that. And I can start a little Wonder Swan collect collection. Collection. <laughs> and, uh, I'll definitely do that. There's definitely some games that I've seen over the years, ever since I started collecting. Uh, a YouTuber I used to watch, his name's Pete Dorr. Uh, I still watch him. Sometimes I'll rewatch his stuff because I forget about certain things. But he is the one that introduced me to the Wonder Swan. And I've always wanted one, and now I finally have one, so now I'll have to rewatch a couple of his videos to see which games he has, or what, which ones he recommends, and I'll definitely try to pick some of those up, even though some of them might be a little expensive, but I'll try to find the ones on the cheaper side, just to, for my own sake, because I don't need to be spending more money on stuff. So, <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I got, uh, this was the main focus, was getting these vinyls. Uh, Resident Evil 3, Rip, Yokai, YY World, and then Snatcher, and the Mother soundtrack on CD. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, if you ever feel like it. Uh, if not, that's okay, just watching the video is cool too. And until the next one, see ya.